Many fish. It's the 4th of December. And just running through the headlines this evening. And a couple things just caught my eye that I'd like to share with you. I'm sure most of you are aware there's a big giant drill going on over in South Korea. And North Korea is very upset about it. Very upset indeed. And uh, we know that we should keep an eye on things during these drills. Just saying, uh, 9-11. There was a drill going on during 9-11. Just saying that because it's true. And you need to keep these things in mind. This is, this is kind of a, a worldly video, I guess you could say. But nonetheless, th that, that, that heightened awareness of this situation is back on the table. You know, not that it ever left, but you know, there it is. They're they're having a very, very large drill right now. Okay? And at the same time, Hawaii's been blowing its uh, sirens to make sure that they could warn their people. Give them 15 minutes. That's what they say. You have 15 minutes if North Korea bombs Hawaii. That's just crazy. Right? But here we are. And so... My mind, the way I think, I guess, whatever, it's put in my mind, Pearl Harbor comes to mind. Hawaii, bon, I don't know, just whatever, it comes to mind. So, I mean, I take up the wiki on Pearl Harbor, and I'm going through it, and there are certainly a lot of things that are just, as usual, very, you know, enticing to go looking at, because things just, the numbers and dates and everything, it's fascinating. But, however... This is the 76th anniversary of Pearl Harbor this week, December 7th, right? And all this stuff going on, so this is just the way it works around here. Um, I decided to go back to the Pearl Harbor Day, and, and the weird part is, is I still had all these windows here open from yesterday. Actually, they've been open for a couple days. So I still have all this stuff about the scorpion, and I got this new link thank you very much commenter i forget who you were <laughs> sorry um so i'm looking at this and i'm like wait a minute this is just bizarre this is just what goes on in my head this scorpion that disappeared on the 22nd of may 1968 okay it's down here somewhere it was between the 20th and the 23rd, actually, if you read this, it's, see, it's very convoluted. There's a lot of controversy behind this. A lot. And this is the one that had the two nuclear warheads on it. And so, I'm reading it, but it says here, it says it was only, it wasn't until six days later that it actually, you know, went public. So it was the, like, 28th, 29th, that the world came to know that this was going on. And also, at the time, which I found interesting, is they were, they were spying on a Soviet submarine at the time. That's kind of strange, but that's what they did back then, I guess. So, we have this scorpion with its two warheads, and I'm looking at Pearl Harbor. Why am I thinking of those two things at the same time? That's a real good question. I, but, however, <laughs> I do take the date of Pearl Harbor and I plug it in and I go to the date of the sub d being publicly announced that it was missing and this is just off the hook weird 9669 <laughs> I mean it could be anything else right but it's got to be 9669 from Pearl Harbor to when that sub was officially gone right and I'm thinking, weirdness, right? Now, this is even weirder. Because I take from this date, and I go to 9-11. And it's nothing strange, 12,158 days, right? However, it is 33 years, 3 months, and 13 days. Just plain wild. You, I mean, seriously, folks, okay? So, so far, you know, you see what we're getting here? This is what I do. I look for patterns, 
you know there has to be a pattern if there isn't a pattern i can't make one up it's a pattern and i can go through a lot of things here but right now it's these two torpedoes and their connection to 9 11 33 years three months and 13 days later two torpedoes go missing in the atlantic and two towers come down on 9 11. Hmm. now i'm not saying that they use these i don't know what happened to these to be honest with you I, I didn't find anything as to where they where they are so 9 11 hmm well i'll tell you this it took uh, a lot more than airplanes and jet fuel to take those buildings down period okay <laughs> so enough said on that so i'm thinking wow wait a minute didn't trump just go to pearl harbor right before he went to asia it's like yeah he did yeah well between the 4th of november which is when he was at the arizona memorial uh and december 7th is 33 days which again he, could it be a coincidence yeah well the whole point i think here is just to illustrate once again i mean this is this is what i'm showing to show you is like these things are all interconnected because it's the same spirit that's been building this same plan to do what he does over eons since the beginning okay it's been you can see it everywhere it's everywhere and all these things are connected all the way back to pearl harbor and before that and i say before that because you should see the connections to the fourth of july five seven 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 from nine eleven to the fifth of july this year but you got to understand why they picked the fourth of july to begin with and you need to go into the whole back everything of that and it's it's a fascinating study and it's all true this the illuminati folks yeah you know them ones that are joked about all the time well guess what they are the real deal real deal 1776 and i'll tell you what it was 76 years this year 13 don't forget since the attack on pearl harbor now these things just come upon me i throw them out there i cannot tell you if something's going to happen at pearl harbor if there's going to be an event like pearl harbor i am inclined to actually say this yes there is going to be a another pearl harbor it could be digital it could be nukes it could be any number of things think about it but whatever it is it's going to be enough to fail men's hearts when you put all the elements that are coming together and i'm talking seen and unseen it's a spiritual war raging right now believe me i'm in it but when it manifests fully into this world through the ai through all these various venues that it's been given it's gonna not be a pretty scene and you need to be like in that jesus army man i mean t you can laugh if you want and I, I hope nobody's laughing but it's the truth because when you're in that army man you, you're on the winning team it's like you already know it's like pff, pff, you know you don't welcome any of this stuff but when it comes it's like pff, behind me so is there anything coming up of course there is we all know we're on the brink of just absolutely wondrous and wild things and it's the battle it's the battle good and evil folks the 69 how do you figure that 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 date there pearl harbor to the two nukes disappearing that's just off the hook you, i mean really i don't know what to tell you i really don't but i wanted to share it with you because that's what i do and because we need to know these things we need to know who we're dealing with you do you really do and if you already do my brothers and my sisters hallelujah praise jesus peace and grace to you many fish finally my brethren 
Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 